Happy Veterans Day everyone. I'm Laura Garcia, a realtor in Jacksonville, Florida with Berkshire Hathaway. And I'm Meredith Medvek. I am a lender here locally in Jacksonville with Prosperity Home Mortgage. And we're in Memorial Park, which is dedicated a memorial for the World War I veterans. And in honor of our veterans today, we're going to discuss Veterans Administration Loans or VA loans. What are some advantages to VA financing versus other options? So VA financing has 100% financing, meaning there's no down payment required, as long as you stay within the county loan limits. So here in Duval County, St. John's and Clay, our surrounding areas, mm -hmm. it is a maximum of $453,100. Okay. So as long as your purchase price is within that, then you truly have no down payment that's going to be required. And for that reason, it's a huge advantage because really every other type of loan is going to require that you put money down. There is no mortgage insurance, and that's not the case with FHA or conventional. In both of those type of loan programs, you're typically going to have mortgage insurance. On the FHA loan, you have an upfront mortgage insurance premium that you pay one time, and you have a monthly mortgage insurance premium. And if you put 3.5% down, you have it for the life of the loan. So on the veteran loan, you don't have that at all. You don't have to worry about the monthly mortgage insurance premium. How would an active service member or a veteran be able to tell if they qualify for a VA loan? We order what's called a COE, stands for Certificate of Eligibility. It's something that I can order very quickly. All I need is some basic information from the service member, their name, their date of birth, their social, how they served, you know, Navy, Army, Air Force, Marines, this, this sort of thing. And we can submit it and generally have that back within sometimes the same day, uh, sometimes 24 hours. So it's a pretty quick turnaround time to get that information and that way we know what that service member is eligible for. If they are retired or have been um, separated from the military, then they're going to have what's called a DD-214. It's a very important document when you have been separated from the military. About how fast does it take to close a VA loan? We can close a VA loan within 21 days from application date. Okay. The biggest the biggest thing that we see with VA is the appraisal. They do a very thorough appraisal mm -hmm. and they account for 14 days to get that appraisal back. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to take 14 days, it just means that it could. And so for that reason, we have to allow 21 days from application to truly be able to commit to closing a VA loan. Are there any fees specific to VA financing that you don't find in other loans? There are. Uh, the, the one item that is very unique to VA financing is the VA funding fee. And the VA funding fee is a one-time fee on that loan. So it is charged up front. And the good thing is, is that it's actually added into the loan. And that funding fee, if it is required, is based on whether you served uh, as a reservist or if you served as you know regular duty meaning non-reservist mm -hmm. and it also depends on whether or not it's your first time using your VA benefits or whether it's a subsequent use mm -hmm. so we we can go into more specifics how it would apply to you individually because it is going to be specific to the service member but those are some of the things that they look at when it comes to calculating that VA funding fee. Okay. Now one thing to note is if you are more than 10% disabled with the Veterans Administration, then there is no VA funding fee. Are there any advantages to using a VA loan with Prosperity Mortgage versus other lenders? There absolutely is, and I think that's one of the main reasons why I personally wanted to do this video because at Prosperity Home Mortgage, we value veterans. And we value veterans so much that since 2014, we have waived in excess of $6.2 million wow. on the origination fee and the appraisal. So to give you more specifics, the origination fee on average, I would say, is about $750. We waive that on our veteran loans. In addition to that, we credit back the appraisal. And 
when you average the two of those fees that we see, it's over $1,200 savings to our veterans. And we know how important that is to a service member. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Sure. Thanks for everything that you've shared. Um, and we want to thank our active military and our veterans for your service. We wouldn't have the freedoms that we have in the U.S. without your sacrifices and service. And we hope you benefited from this information. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below or contact us. The contact information will be after this video. Have a restful Veterans Day. Thank you guys. Have a great day.